Hello everyone, I am Mike, and this is Amnesia of the Dark Descent. Sorry, I'll stop the creepy voice. Um, it's in very poor condition. Well, we can break this lock, I'm pretty sure. Let's, 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 let's grab this. The padlock won't break, it needs to be awakened further. Um, an empty glass container, we probably have to make acid or something like that. Um, I don't exactly remember what was going on last time. I, I remember we were being chased over around here in this complex. Um, and we, we bumped into our friend down here. And the, this was maze-like, but... Apart from trying to get through to certain areas, I, I can't really remember there being any, like, real clear focus. Um... Whoa. Nope. Whoa, hey! Look at that. Oh! No, you know what? I, I came through here. This is how we got into this part of the prison. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I got stuck down here earlier. Oh, my nope. Still chasing me. What? Wow. Wow. <laughs> I guess not mess around. All right. Um... Maybe there's something in here that'll help us weaken the lock. That is counterintuitive. There we go. Um... Stuff. Anything behind here? Oh, that looked promising. Um. Can I use this glass jar in it? No. Knock it out. I wonder if that jerk comes up here. Okay, storage that way. Gotcha. Get his log, and <laughs> the bad log is in excellent condition. I use this anyway! Okay. Um, how about this? These are all cells that I've been in. I recognize that much. I haven't played this game since... Oh, I don't know. The weekend. Like... 
maybe Friday or Saturday. And today's Wednesday, so. I think badness finds itself over there. Hmm. This, for some reason, does not look familiar. Kitchen! Right. I'd love to get to that stairwell. Right, is the kitchen down here, or is the kitchen down here? Storage, no. Kitchen is clearly down this way. Um, storage. Kitchen. Kitchen's down this way. I can follow signs! Presumably. Oh, well, that that's... That's kind of hard, huh? On that assumption. Oh crap. Well, on the upside, I don't think we've. Oh no, this looks familiar as well. Oh, well, maybe not. 3rd of August, 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Interesting. I thought it was going to at least let me look at it. Uh, Ludnum. Which is great. I'm going to have to come back here. Maybe I can only use it on that one kind of... ...shaky lock that's kind of in disrepair. I guess it's time to go find out. Alright, the kitchen. Storage. Up the stairs. I don't know why I looked that way. I knew that there was like a solid wall there. That was pretty dumb. Turn on the lantern before our friend. 
That's a world class freak out. Oh my. This corpse looks... Recent-ish. Hey! Anybody! Help! Christ! I don't believe this! Why? I mean, why? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be! Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault! Why did he have to go in there? You don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Hmm. Well, that was cryptic. Things can be done, but at a price. Come back to where I was. In retrospect, not the best idea I've ever had. My direction sense in this game is terrible. I don't know how great my direction sense is, like, overall, but in this game it's definitely really, really bad. Oh, well, crud. I want to go to storage. Okay, well, next time will be our... <laughs> I guess 
exciting quest in search of the storage room. Um, if uh, you like this uh, video and, or you like this series, feel free to go ahead and leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed and you feel like that's something that you may want to do, feel free to do that as well. Um, if you have any positive or negative feedback, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, if you want to join me on Facebook or on Steam, you can do so by clicking on one of the links in the description down below. But, I have been Mike, you have been you, this has been Amnesia the Dark Descent, and um, I would like to thank you all for joining me today, and um, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time when hopefully we find the starter. <laughs> thanks for watching, bye-bye.